Now to what was an awful discovery. Three dogs found dead inside of a hot car. And the worst part is the person who left them behind was an experienced dog trainer. Bradley Blackburn spoke to a devastated owner who now demands justice. Open your Christmas present, Vinny. There is no question Vinny was a dog with a very good life because this six pound he? Pomeranian. He was kind of my my world changed the life of his owner. I suffer from depression and anxiety and um, I brought him on work trips on planes with me. Um, wherever I went, that dog was by my side. Vinny was Brooke King's service dog and she spent thousands of dollars to hire an experienced dog trainer to help him with his job. How to act in a grocery store, how to act when him and I were going shopping. But last week while Vinny was with the trainer, she got news she never expected. My world just crashed. I've never loved anything like, like Vinny. Vinny had died along with two other dogs in a hot vehicle. A second owner gave us these pictures of Alice, a bull mastiff that was a service dog for a veteran with PTSD. The owners told us the trainer left the dogs in the vehicle parked outside this vet clinic while she went inside to talk with friends, trusting a sensor to warn her if the car got too hot. Apparently the sensor never went off and um, the car had died and there was no air circulating. Tonight, Fort Worth police are investigating the deaths. A report filed about possible animal cruelty. The trainer, Sherry Taylor, did not respond to our calls or texts. Do you think that she should have ever left your dog in a car like that? No, not under any circumstance. King told us she's considering legal action of her own and is working to raise awareness about the dangers for pets left in cars because dogs that give so much should never go like this. I would just love for the trainer to not work with animals um, ever again. In Fort Worth, I'm Bradley Blackburn.